Right, hey there guys, today's this is my video. Today we got us another oil, oil change on a 06 Mercury Grand Marquis 4.6 V8. And it's going to take this oil filter. And it's in kind of a goofy place. It's not going to be too hard, but there's always easier ones out there, like GM for instance. So, let's hurry up and get this mess over with, I'd say. To take the oil plug out, you need a 16 millimeter wrench or socket or whatever. It's 16 millimeter, you'll take it out and it fits perfectly. Then we're going to go ahead and start taking the oil filter out. It's not real hard to get to. But it can be hard to get off. You can only turn that oil wrench about uh, an inch, maybe, if you're lucky. Beautiful. Beautiful. And like I said, Napa 21372. It's good stuff right there. It's kind of a pain to get this in here. You gotta wedge it in there just right, so I'll show you that real fast. And you do it in reverse order to take it off, obviously. Make sure you get it good and snug. <clears throat> Another thing I always forget to mention, guys, is what you want to do is you want to make sure that this black ring, this gasket, comes off with every oil filter. If it doesn't, you need to make sure that's up there because if it stays up there, you go to put the new one on. When you start it, if you put an oil in it, it blows all the oil back on the ground. Almost every single bit of it, and you got to start all over. So, make sure you guys keep that in mind. Yeah, like I said, the V8. Very simple. Oil change here, 5W20. Air filter if it needs to be checked. So always check your antifreeze and your winter washer fluid, which is way back here. No problems, no problems. Another thing, when you're checking your, windshield, your coolant level, these little things people have. Now what you want to do is make sure that all of the little balls in there float. And if they, if all of them but one floats, it's negative 25. All of them but two float, negative 10. And so on and so forth. And if all of them float, it's negative 40. Sometimes it can take a second for them to float to the top too. See, we'll just go ahead and call that negative 25. I want to say these four sixes hold like six or six and a half, but I can't remember specifically, so I'm going to go through the process and figure it out, and then I'll re-assure you what it is. Getting it. All right, so it ended up taking about six quarts of 5W20, uh, non-full synthetic, just synthetic blend. But, uh, but that's pretty much my video, and stay warm and have a good one.